Hello, my dear Pisces. This is a love reading, a prediction for the month of September with me, Kuna Kaps Tarot. As an extended member to this channel, you will get these readings ahead of time and with no ads. And there's an all signs reading up, the right decision for my future for the full members to this channel and the reading message from a deceased loved one are available for all the members to the channel. Subscribe and then check out the many perks through the join button that will appear or follow the link in the description box to learn more about membership. I can recommend that you rewatch the previous love reading for August to get a context and this is the prediction for September. I will start reading your cards and I'm using the Tarte Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. When I open your deck here, I see the Ace of Swords together with the Hero font. Uh, so this is you trying to voice your concerns towards some type of uh, authority. I call the Divine with Love and Light. And here we have the Ace of Pentacles, so two Aces. Uh, Ace of Pentacles, it's like you want something, it's almost like you're going to ask your parent for permission to do something or to start a project or do something that you have dreamt of. I don't know why you feel the need to ask for permission. Okay, so I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have the Prince of Cups uh, together with the Hero font. Uh, maybe there's someone coming and asking for your hand in marriage or uh, maybe there's someone wanting to come with a suggestion maybe to you maybe this is you and someone is coming and and trying to make you inspired by their dream or their idea so it can be that um, for example your partner want to travel together with you or wants to buy a puppy or maybe it's the vice versa maybe you want to move to another city to get a job and you are trying to inspire a partner about this but it can be so many different things uh, i call the six elements and here we have the princess of swords together with the hero font uh, so we are a little bit prepared for a disagreement that the person that has the last saying because you can't force your partner or uh, your family to move across country just because you have gotten a job if they don't want to uh, so you're prepared for a little bit resistance uh, when it comes to this uh, it can even be like introducing a, a new idea to family friends a, a partner or even introducing a new partner um, which uh, can feel a little bit oh how will this work out so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear pisces viewers and i'm sorry if there's some noises uh, we are uh, renovating the house and uh, need to get that done uh, so I can't ask them to be quiet, I'm sorry. So just tuning in for a few seconds here to you and the person most on your mind and your relationship in September. So this is the new bottom of the deck and it's the moon card. So we feel scared or disoriented we feel like um, we don't know what's going to happen next or we might be having prophetic dreams or um, we can get um, insights or messages uh, <laughs> kind of through the grape wine or through just your own intuition with the moon card we can also have a lot of worry and anxiety but it's because this message just wants to come through to you uh, so it can be messages about you not being happy where you live for example then you are going to have a certain level of anxiety to pay attention 
uh, to the unhappiness. In other case, you will stay in that position forever and ever and never know that this is not contributing to your happiness. And this is the old bottom of the deck and it's a King of Cups. The King of Cups is Scorpio. The Moon card is a Cancer uh, energy. So it's both a water energy. Um, King of Cups uh, shows that uh, maybe we have put a lot of um, um, love and effort into certain areas of our, our life before and now this needs to change maybe we are changing our priorities some and this is a little bit scary because maybe before we were visiting our mother every uh, other day and if we uh, retrieve a partner we can't do that they are going to want us to spend time with them or um, uh, let's say that you are uh, starting a new job and you ne need to pay more attention to your work and you can't be as much with your friends as you were before. Um, so it can be different takes on this. So this is what's on your mind with the person most on your mind. Situation with said person. This is what's on their mind with you. This is your feelings. The bond between the two of you, their feelings, your behaviors and attitudes, the outcome for September, and their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with a situation here, and it's a nine of cups. Uh, we had the 18, the moon card. One plus eight is uh, nine. So this can be your hopes and dreams or maybe your partner's hopes and dreams if it's them that's trying to come and convince you about this, their dream. And this is what's on your mind. Uh, Ten of Wands is a lot of worry and a lot of uh, like we're scared for the future. We're scared what they're going to say. We are scared about how we are going to cope with certain things or how certain problems are going to be. Uh, solved uh, so it can be that this person is bringing their dreams and you see only problems or it can be that you have your dream but you see a lot of problems in fulfilling them and this is uh, what's on their mind and we have the fool here uh, so they seem to be game uh, to go on whatever adventure that needs to be taken on uh, to get to um, a fulfilling life and to uh, find ourselves in the position which we want to find ourselves in. Uh, so they seem um, hopeful or at least rather free from worry. And this is uh, the bond between you two and it's judgment. So it shows that this is a serious situation and we need to make serious uh, choices uh, aligned with um, their idea or get them to align with our idea if it's the other way around um, or what will happen with the relationship what will happen with the situation if we can't see eye to eye if we can't convince the investors if we can't in convince our family our friends or our partner and this is your feelings we have the hangman here so it definitely seems like um, maybe you are the one um, um that <laughs> doesn't want the dream or feel overwhelmed with this person having the dream but it can be uh, it can be that you are on this side uh, so the queen of pentacles is a person that have um, all the resources to fulfill their uh, their dream uh, they can they are very rich um, in um, ideas or organization skills or having the energy to um, follow through on what they have planned and uh, with a hangman it seems like you are opposing this and you have a hard time bending uh, to this idea or thinking that it's a, a bad one and it will an end in disaster okay or it's just something that you clearly don't want okay so your behaviors and attitudes and we have the world card here so that's going to have to be <laughs> clarified we have 21 here uh, 22 no sorry 20 22 the full numerology speaking it's 22 so 
basically 20, 21, 22. We also have 12, which is the mirror of 21. Uh, so this is some kind of um, um, passing through, passing through from one stage to the other. Um, maybe you will be forced to let go of something that will then belong to the past, or it might be that you have uh, been able to solve something that you can leave behind. So we'll see. Uh, this is uh, uh, their behaviors and attitudes. And we have the three of wands, uh, 12, 21, 2, plus 1, 1 plus 2, both equals 3, uh, which is this three of wands. It's also connected to the empress, uh, which is the energy of um, natural resources and, you know, life, <laughs> uh, life, the sparkle of life. Uh, so... Uh, this person is uh, definitely pounder and adventure or wants to go out in the world or um, it doesn't have to be the world. With the Queen of Pentacles, it might be that they want commitment or they want to marry or they want to buy a house or um, whatever it is. It can be that they want to advance their career uh, but and they very much look forward to this and they want to put one foot in front of the other to get it done while you are putting on the brakes, it seems. And the outcome here is the Princess of Cups. So it might be a little bit scared for change or for what's new, but it's also intriguing and um, um, it can be like a total change of a, a coming into a new chapter and it can be an amazing adventure. Princess of Cups usually shows new beginnings or uh, like sweet offers. <laughs> okay, so I will clarify here with the... Uh, Wizards Tarot. So clarifying the Nine of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. So for what for one person feels like an amazing opportunity and fulfillment of the dream, for the other person it feels like, no, <laughs> no, I, I, I wish you never asked me or I wish you never came with an idea in the first place. Okay, so clarifying your Ten of Wands there. Clarifying the Ten of Wands. And we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups was the one coming with the offer. See how this works with the Ten of Wands. So maybe this offer is a, a burden to you. This idea is a burden to you. Maybe you had a, like a nice relationship with someone, but you didn't take it too seriously. And now they want to be serious about it. And you are like, oh, no, <laughs> we can see the fool here. Uh, three of cups so this person seems very enthusiastic about you about your future about their idea their dream uh, so and it's three again so they wish to create something together with you so clarifying judgment and we have the five of cups so i feel like some uncomfortable truth that um, maybe we played along um like we acted like we were in love when we weren't. Uh, so we are not at all able to take that next step in the relationship. And now it's so hard to tell the other person uh, that we kind of lied or <laughs> withheld the truth. Or it can be that we are just intimidated with change, that we are scared of change. Or maybe we don't want the truth with the judgment here to come to light. Uh, or maybe it's something we don't want it to to end uh, or if we have uh, different dreams uh, then maybe we need to split par uh, split like go separate ways and that can also be a, s a sad situation so hangman is clarified by uh, the moon and the uh, nine of pentacles uh, 18 moon one plus eight nine um so you seem a little bit reserved as if you want to go about things alone or um, you don't want to build something with someone else. You want to be free. You want to be individualistic. Uh, you don't want anyone to superimpose their life on your life. Or Okay, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, Magician. So this is a very strong person capable of uh, creating what they want. And if we are not <laughs> as a strong individual... Uh, we might be overrun. They will, you know, convince us that it's the best. They have the best idea, and that it's going to be amazing. And we can just, you know, uh, be dragged along with our fear. <laughs> so I'm seeing like a dog with a tail between their legs being dragged along here. 
on down a road which they don't want to go to go on so clarifying the world card here king of wands king of wands shows um uh, authority we want to uh, we have dreams of our own. We have ideas how we want our life to become. Uh, so we are not prepared to give that up for someone else's dream. So we have back turned against this situation here. Uh, clarifying the three of wands. And we have the lover. So they have great ideas about how you, how you can go about this, create this amazing situation together. And here is the clarification for the Princess of Cups. And it's the Nine of Cups again. The same card that we started off with is the one that we end off with. So they are clearly not giving up their dream. Uh, you don't seem too enthusiastic by <laughs> this dream. Um, we have this tower in this card. And here it's kind of exploding. So we have built something up. Um, maybe they're expectations and now you need to tell the truth and say that you are not so into this in the first place okay so taking a card for the situation milk and honey so it's kind of what you wanted but maybe you don't have the right feelings uh, to to support the situation we can logically want the situation but then the feeling doesn't come in the way that they were supposed to <laughs> this is you want to avoid the whole situation I think um, and this is them new life uh, so they're so prepared for this new thing and uh, very hopeful for the future and they feel strong and um, like they can deal with anything maybe they feel like that because they have you by their side or maybe this is just their personality. Well, they want to be <laughs> doing this together with you. But you seem to be a little bit reluctant to join uh, the game here. Um, no, I don't want to. Uh, so, and this say, why not? This can be such an amazing situation. So what's the advice for Pisces in this situation? Chaos and conflict. Uh, maybe you need to, you probably need to voice your concerns and how you really feel and what you don't like with the idea or what it is that you're op opposing. Maybe communication will, like if you can s unload what's on your mind and you will see that the other, if you will see that the other person will understand and take in consideration your doubts, um, then maybe this um, will not be so scary for you and you will unleash the brakes and maybe you want to go along with the idea. It's what I'm seeing as a possibility. But it can also be that you are uh, going your separate uh, ways. And I think this person has resources enough to go on without you. Uh, question is what you are going to do that's so darn important. <laughs> okay. So you want to, uh, uh, you know, catch this train and... It seems amazing. I think it seems like an, a nice situation. But it's totally up to you. You decide. Uh, you know yourself. You know your doubts. Your Why you say no. And um, you are the authority in your own life. So choose accordingly to your heart. And I would urge you to watch the love reading for August. To learn more about this situational relationship. And please share my videos to let more people know about them. Also like the video to show YouTube that you want to continue seeing readings from me in your feed. And of course subscribe and hit the notification bell to be sure that you get noticed when I'm posting a new video. Thank you so much in advance, uh, advance also for watching this far. Take really good care until next time. Stay awake, stay healthy, stay blessed and bye for now.